Hi Gwyneth, I'm 15, you are 25, you're watching this, you're probably cringing already. I have tried to make this video six times and I am not emotional enough, but I'm emotional enough because I cried last take and I didn't want to watch it myself and so I deleted it. Here I am again. I'm going to be straightforward and not think as much on this one and give you the straight facts and be cringeworthy. That's my goal in this video is to cringe as much as possible when I'm 25. So where do I think that you are? Where? Freaking pronouns in this video are so difficult because you're me. Where do I think I'll be in 10 years? I think that I will be getting out of a four-year college, maybe going to grad school, maybe going to get a job, maybe I already have my degree, maybe it's only a four-year college degree. I don't know what I want to do for college yet. I currently want to do something with dance and maybe own my own dance studio, but I don't know what that in involves. I have not made the effort to go to a counselor or anything and try to figure out that or talk to my parents about it at all. So where do I think I'll be? I don't know. Do I have kids? Am I married? Everybody always has unrealistic expectations. I'm not one of those people. I don't have many expectations at all because if I set expectations, I never meet them. Hopefully I'm still doing YouTube. It's a fun thing to do. And it's given me so much confidence already just from the maybe five people who have told me, wow, your YouTube's great. Older self, do you remember making this video? It's so weird. I can't just talk to you because it's a one-way conversation. And I have no idea what your answers are going to be. And so I can't follow up because you might answer them wrong. How I want to perceive my life is probably not how it's going. Are you still a bad procrastinator? Probably, probably. What bands do you listen to? What music do you listen to? Are you still um, a punk at heart? <laughs> Have Has Paramore or Fall Out Boy Panic at the Disco or Muse? Have they broken up yet? It's a possibility because almost everybody in Fall Out Boy has kids and Paramore, Haley Williams is getting married. One of the, Jeremy has a baby already, so it's possible. Have I met Dan and Phil? They're kind of my life right now. That's kind of upsetting, but kind of not. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be cringe to think about how much you were in love with these guys who are uh, way older than you. So am I married? Do I have kids? I doubt it. Because the more I've thought about this video, the more takes I have done of this video, the more I realize that the timeline I had in store is probably not not an acceptable timeline. I need to be settled down before I have kids. Um, because so many people don't settle down before they have kids and it hurts their kids. I just have a bunch of questions for you. Should I give you some advice? Some advice from your 15 year old self? When it's time to have a serious talk. Family. Family's important. And this is where I started crying last take. And it had to do with your sisters. They are, I'm already getting emotional. They are the best thing that has happened to you. You have had them since you were born. You have literally known them your whole life. But right now, your 15 year old self is realizing how important your sisters are. My sisters are. They will help you in any way 
that they can always they have been through the same shit as you they have gone through it all with you you don't even have to explain it to your sisters because they're feeling the same way and that's how it is gonna be for the rest of your life and um my sisters don't really watch my youtube videos that much because i'm just uh their silly 15 year old sister that uh is making YouTube videos for fun, but if they just so happen to watch this deeper video that I am trying to do but failing at because I'm not a deep person, I just want to let you guys know that you guys have pushed me through. It is. You're the reason that I'm still here mostly because I realized that I'm not the only one going through what I'm going through and um, you guys understand it and you make me feel like I'm not stupid for thinking the way I think. You guys are amazing and I'm so grateful to have you and I love you guys. I love you a lot and 25 year old Gwyneth, make sure you remember that. Older Gwyneth. Please, please never forget that. Never forget that your sisters are there for you every moment of every day. Take care of your parents. They took care of you and they deserve to be taken care of also. Um, if your dad, if our dad, needs his butt wiped, wipe his damn butt. I know you're not gonna want to, but you need to. And same thing for your stepmom and your mom. They have molded you into the person you are now. And I believe that my 25 year old self is gonna be a wonderful person because you're learning every day what awful mistakes you have made is turning you into who you are. I'm reminding you to love your family. A reminder to be healthy. You struggle with being healthy right now because you don't really get to cook the meals and buy the meals and uh, your parents do all that for you because you're very dependent. And you're 25 right now. You should be independent giving you a stern talking <laughs> but you better be drinking a shit ton of green smoothies and eating some kale and eating yourself some salads without salad dressing sometimes and you should not eat ramen every day sorry to say that but you should be able to take care of yourself and eat healthy and take freaking walks every day or dance around the house or go take a dance class and um, do whatever you can to be healthy and you are independent now you know how to drive you probably have a car drive yourself to a park do some jumping jacks in a park maybe make a video while you're out there older self just the biggest thing I can tell you is to be happy. You want to do a lot of things and you should do them. Don't hold back. And my motto right now that I have been trying to keep in mind forever and ever and ever and it's gotten me off of the couch a couple times, is um, live a life of regrets, not a life of what ifs. I hope I can make this into some sort of deep and meaningful video. So again, your phone stopped recording and we have to do this rather quickly because um, my phone's running out of storage, but call your sisters 
call your mom, call your dad, call your stepmom, call anybody else that has come into your life and you, I don't know about them yet. Um, call your new friends, call your old friends, call that person that you've been meaning to. Um, don't text people, call them. Tell them that you love them and take a walk and look at the sky and if you are married, if you have kids, tell your family that you have made that you love them. And um, do things, do things. That's all I can say. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a like. If you can still do that, Gwyneth, in 10 years, if you can still like things, give it a like. <laughs> and subscribe for more. 25 year old, you, you can't subscribe to me for more. Unless you make more, I don't know. <sighs> Bye. And now I'm gone, and if you wanna talk to me, go ahead. Make that time machine and come talk to me. It is 3.30 p.m. July 9th, 2015. Peace out.